In Pro Tools, it's handy to use pre-roll and post-roll when you're playing back. They're set right here in the transport window. So for example, if you were putting your play marker at bar 12 and you hit play, Pro Tools would play from bar 12 like this. But you can go down to the transport window and you can set a pre-roll time of let's say one bar before or maybe just two beats before, zero bars and two beats. So now I have a pre-roll time of two beats. When I hit play, Pro Tools will start from two beats before wherever my play cursor is at and play like so. Post roll is handy when you have a selection. So I'm going to set a post roll time of two beats as well. I'm going to make a selection of one bar. And when pre-roll and post roll are not on, if I hit play, Pro Tools simply plays this selection. With pre-roll and post roll engaged, Pro Tools starts two beats earlier, and Pro Tools will stop two beats after the end of the selection. That's the post roll. That's really handy to hear a selection in the context of what's going on around it. These two green arrows are your pre and post roll markers. When pre and post roll are not engaged, they're hollow. When pre and post roll are engaged, they're green. You can change pre and post roll times by grabbing the markers and moving them around. That changes pre and post roll like so. In addition, you can simply option click somewhere before a selection to set pre roll times like this, or option click after selection to set post roll times. That's handy. If you option click within a selection, it sets pre and post roll times back to zero, like that. 